Welcome to our review on lenses. What we're going to look at in this video are two different types of lenses. And the first one that we're going to look at are the convex lenses. Now a convex lens may also be referred to as a converging lens. And what they actually do is they refract the rays to a principal focus or a focal point. And what we find is that we're going to use these in devices like magnifiers. So if you have a look at the diagram in the bottom left there, you can see that we've got our lens in the center. Then we've got our rays of light coming in from the left hand side. And you can see that what happens is they're all refracted, so they're bent. So they come to that clear point, the principal focus. When we're talking about the focal length with our convex lenses, then it is the distance from the optical center, which you can see right in the middle of the lens there on the principal axis. So it's the distance from the optical center to the principal focus. The second type of lens that we will encounter is the concave or diverging lens. And their whole purpose is to spread light out. Again, I've given you a diagram in the bottom left there showing what's happening. So as our light comes in, as it passes through the lens, it's spreading it further out. So it's going to be then be spread to a wider range on the other side. We do still have a focal length, but this time it's slightly different. Still going from that optical center, the very central point of our lens, but this time it goes to the virtual focus. If we consider where we're actually going to use these types of lens, then the most common place is in terms of correcting eyesight. So we've got two different problems with our eyesight. You may be short sighted or you may be long sighted. If you've got short sight, then that means that things up close are nice and clear to you, but things that are in the distance appear blurry. And the reason for that is that the rays of light are actually trying to focus in front of the retina. So kind of just randomly in the middle of your eyeball not particularly useful to us. So what we do there is we use a concave lens in the glasses and that's going to spread the rays of light out slightly, which means that they're actually going to focus right on the back of the retina where we want them to. Second problem with our sight, long sight. That means that up close objects are blurry, but things in the distance are perfectly clear to you. The reason for that is that the rays of light are trying to focus basically behind your retina. So they're not able to focus on that retina at all. So this time we use a convex lens and that's going to refract the light so that it's going to then focus again perfectly on the retina. What we also need to be able to do is draw ray diagrams using these lenses. Now this may look a little bit complex, but as long as you go through the steps in turn, it's actually quite simple to do. So when they give you one of these questions, they will give you the object, which could be as simple as an arrow, and they will have the lens drawn on the bit of paper for you. So the first thing you're going to do is draw the ray, so the straight line using your ruler and pencil, from the top of the object, nice horizontal line that's gonna go straight in to the lens there. So you can see that in the top diagram there. That goes to the central line of our lens, and once we've got that, you're then going to bend it down, okay? And it's gonna pass through the principal focus, which will again be labeled on the diagram they've provided for you. So just extend that line nicely further down. Next thing to do is you're actually going to draw the ray that goes from the top of the object and goes straight through the center. So you can see the very, very center of the lens there. Your ray this time has to pass directly through that center and touch the top of the object, one straight line. You will then have one point where those two rays have met on the right hand side. And that tells you where the top of your image is going to be. So then all you need to do is just draw the exact same arrow on the other side. Hopefully what you can see there is how you can go through it. And at the bottom, that's the setup of the kind of question they could give you. The object, the lens, and the principal focus labeled, you just need to add those rays. The last thing we need to consider is some of these other uses of lenses. We've looked at obviously correcting eyesight, 
but we use the convex and concave lenses for other uses as well. So you need to know the use and also the type of image it generates. So if we consider our convex lenses first of all, then we can use them in a magnifying glass as we mentioned at the start. And what we end up with there is a virtual image that's magnified, but upright. If we have a convex lens in a camera, then it's a real image that's going to be diminished, so it's smaller and inverted, so upside down. If we have our convex lens in a projector, then it's a real image that's magnified, so it's made bigger, but it's still inverted. Next type of lens is our concave lens, which we've got two examples for spy holes and the rear windows on coaches but they both generate the same type of image it's a virtual image that's diminished so it's smaller but it's upright hopefully at the end of this video you can now use ray diagrams to show the similarities and differences between convex and concave lenses and you can describe what we use those different types of lenses for